What are you doing? So I'm uh, putting together these letters for the wheels and waves sign. I just add a little bit of texture to the big ones. It says Co Wars, although I sort think of I like Star Wars. I think I spelled it wrong. C O H. Uh, cars of Hotness. No, it actually spells car show. Just it's an anagram. I don't know. Uh, today is vlog 552, back in the Mazda CX-5, and I'm headed out to Agura, going to my buddy Michael Axon's place. We're going to be grabbing one of his cool English cars, and we're going to be driving to Ventura and checking out the Magnuson shop. Now, if you're not familiar with Magnuson, uh, they're known for their incredible superchargers, incredible builds, all kinds of very cool stuff. I'm taking you guys along. We got a, a very large storm that's coming in probably tonight over the next couple of days. And that's cool because we need the rain. But then on Sunday, it's going to be clearing up. Wheels and Waves is going to be happening and we're going to have a spectacular time. But for today, it's English cars, superchargers, and all things awesome. Let's go. I'm in one of Michael's Jaguars. This car seriously rocks. I forget which F-type this is, but it's phenomenal. I'll get to that. Shop. Lots of amazing cars. Michael is practically slobbering on everything. Not really. He's English. They don't do that stuff. We do that stuff. But look at these cars. There's the magnitude from uh, uh, that uh, was Chip's car. Shops back here. All kinds of great stuff. But we're gonna go have lunch first, and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna check out all this stuff. What's up, baby? Hey. Good morning. Next time you're coming with us so you get to drive the Jag. Okay, it's a Magnuson morning. <laughs> it's awesome. This is Daniel. What's up, buddy? This is, this is Fireball. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know where we are. We're somewhere in Ventura, and there is this car behind us that is, um, uh, other than describing it as extremely fast, it's slippery. It's slippery. Uh, okay, tell me what this is. This is basically the uh, world's fastest piston driven car. It's, it's the uh, Speed Demon 2. Uh, the first one actually rolled with George, George Petit driving it, and it's on YouTube. But this is the second iteration, and it's uh, campaigning for uh, 500 miles an hour. The stuff that's hidden up in this town blows my mind. It's a nice community. It, it's it's really awesome. Uh, I gotta show you guys this, but uh, we don't get to take this for a spin though. Not today. Okay. Not today. Next time. This is the gentleman who built this 
small vehicle behind us with a small amount of horsepower. The, the turbos in this are ridiculous. Yeah, they're uh, hybrid 88 decisions. <laughs> uh, so this is the, this is the second one you built? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. The first one was an iteration of a lot of different cars that got lengthened, yeah. widened in different things. Kind of a Frankenstein yes, version. Yes, for about from 2007 to 2014. Because this is a piece of art. This is Yeah, this was a clean sheet of paper. And yeah, we tested uh, in July, I think, and then went to Speed Week in August. Uh, first run at Speed Week, they would only let us go to the four mile, and we went 4.06. Okay. And then we got to do the five mile runs, and we went anywhere from 4.19 all the way to 4.42. Wow. I'm hanging out with Marie now. <laughs> this is Marie Magnuson. Uh, you were just telling me that you're selling your Corvette. And you're Supercharged. Gonna, right, and you're gonna get a new one. Yeah, it's coming from the factory. In Bowling Green? I imagine so. Okay. And because it's just, they just don't have yellow right. Corvettes just at every dealership. Yeah, but it's got to be yellow. Because it's Jerry. Yeah, that was Jerry's color. Yes. Awesome. Queen of, of car culture. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, Maureen was uh, uh, is uh, Jerry's wife, and uh, Jerry, of course, Jerry Magnuson is the probably the icon when it comes to superchargers and all things cool. That's right. I'm sure. <laughs> so you guys have this incredible place here in Ventura uh, that pretty much anybody can come and visit. That's and right. Check out. Uh, Open some door incredible policy. cars like Chips uh, Magnitude over there and a lot of other cars I'll show you guys. But, you know, tell us, give us a little bit about what Jerry was like. <laughs> yeah, he was a genius. He was passionate. He would work five and a half days or more per week. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, after we had breakfast, he'd say, well, I think I'll go to the shop for a couple of hours. Would I let him go alone? <laughs> no way, Jose. <laughs> I was right with him. So yeah. we were just always, always together. He came yeah. from Colorado. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was to work for Dan Gurney. Uh -huh. And it was Bill Fowler who called him and said, Jerry, We'll have you for three months. If you can make it, you've got a job. And so he was with, as you can see, this garage scene. Jerry is in that garage scene. Yeah. He was on the crew, and uh, he, the driver there is uh, Dennis Hume. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but who won? Do you know who I won? I don't, I don't. Mario Andretti. <laughs> in this shop. Even better than the cars, there's some celebrities hanging out. I haven't seen one yet, but I know that they're around here. I keep looking around, I haven't seen anybody yet. But again, hanging out with Daniel, we're, we're at, at the shop. This is Track Map. Track Trackmaster Master Products. Products, okay. We actually facilitate some of the hot rod builders around the area, okay. around the world, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing steering systems, we have motor accessory kits. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Magnuson superchargers next door. So if okay. people are looking for a supercharger, we can just walk next door and pick one up and bring it in for an 
So this is this essentially is the same car. Same car, but you see it in raw metal. This is uh, the fabrication methods that we prefer to show off. Uh, people look at the car when it's finished and they think it's a kit in fiberglass or something. So by showing the actual materials, uh, we're being true to the craftsman's form. This is actually a pretty good chance to see the internals. So we've got a, a 13 gallon gas tank in the back clamshell. We have the inverted floor bar, a redundancy battery system set up. Uh, the springs uh, basically set up to the body and to the tunnel, so you're actually directing the forces along the center of the car. You guys may recognize this. Mark Sternberger, if you're watching right now, nice job. It's a beauty. What is your job here at the Magnuson Shop of Awesomeness? Oh my gosh, a little bit of this. You know what? I'm the adult supervision. I That's keep right. everybody on track. Yeah, there's all these kids goofing around. That's right. And, and you're the mom that... Sometimes somebody has to be... Just gotta lay the smack down. Yeah. What's it like to... Uh... She's not looking, so you can say whatever you want. What's it like to work with Maureen and um, Daniel and, and hang out at this place, and you know, and, and hanging out with Jerry? Oh, incredible! Yeah, I learned so much about history and racing and cars. I mean, it's a dream job. So now, if you could get anything you want, barring any any price, anything at all, if I could hand you the keys right now, which I probably have them in my pocket right at this moment. Oh my God! What would you want? Oh gosh, that's so hard. There's so many that I want. I know. I would love to do like an early '50s Chevy truck. Uh huh. Um, and then, and then there's like a '72 Blazer I want to do too. Yeah, that's the problem. So you, you just, and then, and it's then, like it's like eating chips. You can't just eat one. Whatever you get next, bring it to our show. Absolutely. Okay. We're having a great time. Would love to. Okay, awesome. See, that wasn't that painful. Just a little bit there. Great time at the Magnuson Shop. Special thanks to those guys, Maureen, Daniel. Jan, everybody, just such an incredible group of people. Michael's uh, other F-Type, this thing has, I think, a little over 500 horsepower. Once we get back to his shop, we'll have him explain exactly what I'm driving, because I have no idea. Yes, Michael. We we drove both of your Jags okay. today. We drove the this one here first. This is the uh, F-Type right. V6 3 liter British design edition. Okay. Nice, kind of like a teenager, um, okay. a little out of control teenager. I would agree. Not, not too Very bad. Very noisy. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> As teenagers are. Yes. Yeah. Right. But uh, it didn't compare at all, not even close, okay. to this other one. Okay. Right here. Okay. That... Right. The that is an absolute granddaddy of right. beasts. Tell okay. me, what, what did I drive on the way back down? So you drove on the way back down a Jaguar XKRS. So they made it 20% lighter, 20% faster, 20% more power. The whole front end is forged aluminum, so the towing in and the steering is a lot better, but the power, 565 brake horse. Yeah. In a V8. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a surprise how much 20% can scare the crap out of you. Right. Okay. You know, right. Right. Just right. 20%. Right. But a phenomenal, phenomenal car. Right. But they look the same color, but they're really not. No. The XKRS was done as a tribute to the old racing colors. It's actually a French racing blue. And then with the Jaguar British Design Edition F Type, they did it in an ultra blue, which is slightly metallic. Slightly. And they made 70 in red, 70 in white, and 70 in blue as a tribute to the United Kingdom. Oh, phenomenal. God save the Queen. God save the Queen. As they say. As Absolutely. you say. Absolutely. God well, save the Queen. Thank you for today. We had a, a fantastic time right. going and seeing the rocket cars. Like, uh, oh, unbelievable. Thank you so much. Thanks for the shop. Yeah, incredible. Just incredible. Very, very cool. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll come back and we'll drive, we'll drive more. Absolutely. Okay. Thank Great. you, buddy. Thank you.